Hi, my name is Nick Osborne, aka The Coffee Detective from coffeedetective.com and today we're going to address a ticklish question which is how much coffee, how, many, how much coffee grounds should you add to a certain amount of water when you're making coffee in a drip brewer? I'm going to address this because in the question and answer area on the site that is by far the most frequently asked question. And when we get into this you'll see why that is. It's the coffee maker manufacturers do not make it easy for you to figure that out. So here we have a, a Black & Decker mid-range drip coffee maker. There's a water reservoir in the back, there's a filter basket in the top, a carafe to collect your coffee and a heating plate at the bottom to keep it warm. So you buy this and I'm not beating up on Black & Decker, all the other manufacturers will do the same thing to you. So I get my, I take out the little how-to guide and I look through and I figure, I want to figure out how much water should I put in here and how, how much coffee grinds should I put in here to make a nice cup of coffee. Well, when you read through, what it actually says is it says fill up on the back here up to the number of cups you want. And there's a little thing, it's got four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Same as on, same as on the carafe here. But when it comes to coffee grinds, it says add coffee grinds to taste. In other words, no use at all. So they give you this little scoop here, which is a little coffee scoop. But again, there's nothing on here that tells you what it is or what the capacity is. Uh, now, in fact, fortunately, I know that that is a standard size coffee scoop and contains two level teaspoons, two level tablespoons of coffee grinds when you fill it to the top level. So at least I know that bit. Now we'll come back to here, the four, the six, the eight, the ten, how many cups of coffee. Well, it's confusing because if I take my kitchen measuring jug and I fill it up to two cups and I pour it in there, it actually comes up to about three and three quarter cups. So these don't correspond to what you might think of as being an actual cup. The next question is, and let's assume now that somewhere you found, maybe on the coffee detective side or from a neighbor or whatever, you found out that actually what you should do is have one coffee scoop per cup of coffee. So on the face of it, looking at this, if you were going to make eight, you'd put eight of these in, but of course you wouldn't because these markings don't actually correspond to what a cup is, certainly in the kitchen. And what kind of cup do you want? Do you want a little cup of coffee? Do you want like a regular mug of coffee? Or do you want a serious sized mug of coffee? Because depending on what kind, you know, what, what, what the amount of coffee you're going to make is going to depend on how much water you put in here and how many coffee grinds you add. Well, that's a bit greedy. That's not enough. And I think a lot of us, when we get up in the morning, like a cup of coffee. Now, the rule, of one level coffee scoop of grinds per cup is based on the premise that a cup contains six fluid ounces but it doesn't that's the one that contains six fluid ounces that's about eight fluid ounces and that's a little over ten fluid ounces so things can get complicated because if you just try and follow the manual, which is no real help, or follow some abstract instruction, you're going to end up with a brewer that's either, brewer that's either too weak or too strong. So I'll tell you what I do. Eight fluid ounces, not six. So instead of doing a level scoop, do a heaped scoop. It gives you just that ex bit extra that takes you up from the six to the eight. So if I'm going to make if I'm going to drink my coffee in this, and I think to myself, okay, I'm going to have, you know, I want to have four cups of coffee over the next two hours, which is probably excessive, but possible, then I want four times eight ounces of water, and I want four heaped scoops. What I'm suggesting is that you ignore these markings altogether. And you can't go by these markings either, unless you go on the side here, I mean in fact if you're using this that is in fact one cup here is eight fluid ounces so that's actually a pretty good match. If that's the case what I'm going to do 
to fill the water, I'm not going to use the carafe and try and use those measuring bars. I'm going to either fill this up with water four times and pour it in, or I'm going to fill this up to the two cups level and put it in twice. So I know that I've got enough water for four cups, eight fluid ounces each. So let's say I'm going to have four cups. I put in four times eight fluid ounces into the reservoir. Then I get my ground coffee. We've got, what have we got here? Community coffee ground dark roast. Very nice coffee. And I'm going to use those big scoops. So here we are. I've got my filter paper in place, which I'm going to put in there. Your, your brewer may have a permanent gold tone filter, and that's fine too. And so I just happily put in one, two, three. And in fact, doing a, doing a heap scoop is much easier. I'm quite generous with it because I quite like a, a dark brew. So there we go. I put four, four heaped coffee scoops in the filter, four times that in the water, and now I'm ready to go.